Hello to everyone. Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shabi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a part two in regards to the unexpected death of Stephen uh, T. Witch, Twitch uh, Boss. Okay, and so I feel the need to do a part two. First, I'll just put this disclaimer out there. I cannot say that anything that I say in this video is factual, okay? But I feel the need to do a part two, mainly because the first one, a lot of evidence came forward. It was like, you know, the same type of message coming through multiple times, even when I was picking up on the energy prior to actually filming it. But after doing the reading, I just felt like there's so much more that needs to be revealed. And I want to zone in and target specifically certain people that were surrounding Stephen at the time that he was still alive, people that he considered to be close to him. I want to look into that energy specifically um, and ask a few more detailed questions just to dive a little bit deeper on this, okay? Now, one thing that I did come to realize today, which I did not know prior to doing the reading, was that the actual Ellen DeGeneres show had been canceled since May of this year. I did not know that, okay? Um, and I was trying to figure it out because I was like, well, I feel like he's left the show, but I did not know that the entire show had been canceled. So that's, you know, kind of interesting there. Um, but either way, I'm going to pull the cards. Last time we did the part one uh, reading, it was shown that there was some sort of affair that was going on. I got a strong energy of a lot of gossip surrounding an affair um, and that there was a drama queen involved, strong air sign energy. I found out after doing the first message that his wife is an air sign, Stephen is an air sign, as well as a particular individual that was not mentioned in the first one, which is we're going to call Ellen D. For the sake of doing the message, I will say ED throughout the reading, okay? So you all know who that is. Largely because after doing that message, I just, I couldn't, it, it, I felt like I wasn't done. So evidently there's more things that Stephen wants to bring forward. Okay. And so I'm going to dive a little bit deeper and I'm going to ask questions specifically in regards to ED and her potential connection, what was going on there, because it was strong energy of a drama, drama queen that wanted him dead. Okay. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the cards. First question deals with ED. We're going to start there. What did she know? Okay, that's the first question. What did ED know? Then afterwards, I want to look into his interactions with her. Like what was the energy of their connection while he was still alive, especially around the time of his death? So what did ED know? Okay. So what came out is extreme harsh cut off. That says drastic, extreme harsh cut off. So ED was cut off. There was some sort of extreme harsh cutoff at the bottom of the deck. I have pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. So ED was cut off and was ready to explode for some reason. Very angry about being cut off. So let's just see what's going on here. Let me clarify drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. Because this card came out in the first message, okay? And I noticed how dark the car was, how tinted the windows were. And I said, okay, it, it looked like when he left the first time, when he left out of his home, this person was angry and they might have crept up on him in a car where it was like very dark, incognito style, where you couldn't recognize the person in the car. But let me clarify drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. Somebody was cut off here. And somebody was very angry about it with the rage ready to explode. So anytime you're enraged and ready to explode, that means you've been suppressing something here. Somebody was mad about being cut off, angry 
enraged about being cut off. So what is this drastic, harsh cutoff concerning E.D.? Huh. What's coming out is drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos. Now, this drama queen, at the bottom of the deck here, I have obsession. Okay? So this drama queen was feeling enraged. This is ED's energy. This is ED's energy. Now, this card came out in the first reading, y'all. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch the first reading. Because what I was shown was that he left his house because of this drama queen. And I kept trying to figure out like, okay, is the drama queen the wife or is the drama queen the third party? But apparently we're being very specific in regards to who I'm pulling the cards for and it's in regards to ED. So ED was thirsty, causing chaos and drama queen energy because of being cut off here and was enraged and ready to explode. And what's at the bottom of the deck is obsession. Now, look at that. Right behind that, it says retaliation. So ED was obsessed here, okay? Must have indulgence. ED was obsessed with someone here. Now, the question is, who was she obsessed with? Was she obsessed with Stephen or was she obsessed with his wife? Who was she obsessed with here? Well, she was so angry that she got cut off and was ready to explode. Because this is, right here, we, we have retaliation. Retaliation. So I'm going to lay these cards out because we're going to keep on going with this. Because I felt like there was more. And I, listen, we, we're going to get down to the bottom of this. We're going to bring all of the spiritual evidence forward so that the true judicial system in the spiritual realm can bring down righteous judgment and justice. Because I'm going to be doing another message. This will be probably tomorrow night in regards to these sacrifices. Many, many sacrifices are being done right now. And it's, it's being made public. It's so clear. So we're going to be looking tomorrow to see what the agenda of the powers that were what is their agenda surrounding these sacrifices? But tonight we're focusing in on getting this evidence out concerning Stephen. Retaliation. ED wanted to retaliate here. Now, let me see. What is the harsh cutoff? Drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. I'm going to clarify these same cards with a different deck to get deeper in terms of the message. What is drastic, harsh cutoff? What was this all about? So what's coming out here is commitment, drastic, harsh cutoff commitment. This says long-term relationship. So she had been cut off here, potentially cut off because of this relationship, because of the marriage between Stephen and his wife. There seems to have been some sort of obsession here that she had and she became a drama queen when she was cut off because of this commitment. Now commitment can also wreak, it can also mean long-term relationships. So they did have a very long-term friendship on the show, at least about what, uh, about a decade. She wanted retaliation. She wanted payback. She wanted revenge for being cut off and she was in drama queen mode, thirsty, causing chaos, ready to explode, enraged because she was obsessed. Let me see why is the obsession card here. What is the obsession card? Because in the first message, it was shown to me that someone was obsessively, obsessively watching Stephen. So what is obsession? So what a session is coming out as wish, hope, praying, okay, yearning, yearning. That word is standing out really strongly here. So yearning, the obsession, the must-have indulgence deals with a wish, hoping, praying for something, yearning for something, strongly desiring something here. So she was, ED was strongly desiring something. What was she desiring? What was she hoping for? What does she want here? So what's coming out here is interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. So she wanted to talk. 
she was really, really, really strongly wanted to talk, but she got cut off. Somebody cut off ED. Okay. Um, let me pull from my other deck and I'm going to come back to, th to this deck. I want to see what is the interview? What does she want to talk about? She wanted to talk and she was mad. Maybe she got blocked. Somehow she was blocked and she was getting angrier and angrier because again, anytime you're ready to explode, it's because you've been suppressing something. So she was not able to openly speak her truth because she had been drastically cut off. Okay. So she was becoming thirsty. She was causing chaos. What is the interview all about? What does she want to talk about? So high honor came out. High honor. Let me clarify again. High honor. Expectation and occupation is at the bottom of the deck here. So these two cards also came out. It could be that she felt like he should hold her in high honor. This is what she expected because she gave him a job with the occupation here. She felt that she should have been held in high honor. I don't know if she was expecting some sort of work or if she was expecting him to work with her. But whatever this is, it deals with occupation. It deals with work. She wanted to talk to him, get on the same page. Let me clarify this. What is high honor? Because why would you, as someone who worked with him, be so obsessed? Like, what, what is the obsession all about? Why are you angry when he's more focused on his commitment? Why would you want to retaliate? What, what was this obsession here? What is high honor? Hmm. So what's coming out here is magnetic. Magnetic, unexplainable pull can't resist. So she may have had an obsession with him where she felt like he was supposed to hold her in high honor. She expected that he would hold her in high honor because of the occupation, because of the work that she did, because of who she is. And she had some sort of magnetic pull towards him, an obsession here. So now I'm starting to question, it, it, take, it makes me go a little bit deeper to try. We're going to look into see what was the nature of the relationship between Stephen and Ellen. We'll see what the nature of the relationship was between Ellen and the wife as well. But there's something here about a strong obsession here. What did, what did Ellen want with Stephen, first of all? What did she want with him? What did E.D. want with Stephen? So I have soulmate, friendship, romantic partner. Soulmate, friendship, romantic partner. So it looks like she got cut off from being a friend. Okay, she really wanted this energy. She really wanted the, the friendship, but she was angry because she was cut off and she had become obsessed with him and she was really hoping, praying and yearning for him to come back in. She wanted to have a conversation here and she felt like she should be held in high honor. She expected to be held in high honor because of the work that she had done with him. And there was some sort of magnetic, unexplainable pull that she had towards him. What did she want with Stephen? So what's coming out is divine masculine and offer proposal commitment on the table. So it looks to me like this relationship was a little bit more than what meets the eye here. Then there's a little, little weird about this, okay? So let me see what was the connection between, 
What was the energy of her connection? What was the energy of ED's connection? I'm going to pull from a different deck. The energy of their connection. What type of connection did they really have? Because I know, you know, it's known that ED is part of the LGB, LGBTQ community. I believe that's how you say it, right? But I'm starting to question based on the energy that comes out here. Was there something more? Did she have an obsession? I mean, it's, it's clear that there was an obsession here and that she was kicking up dust because of being cut off. But again, why would you be so disappointed? And when I'm saying, well, what does she want with him? Okay, divine masculine. And offer proposal commitment. What was the real nature of this relationship is the question. Because the lovers kept coming out a lot in the last reading. And I kept seeing third party energy affair. So then I didn't automatically think of her because it's like, okay, she's not even playing on that team, right? At least that's what she acts like. So the emperor is in the reverse, which is the divine masculine, but it's in the reverse. What was the nature of their connection? The king of pentacles in the reverse. The death card in the reverse. It does feel like there was an ending that was attempting to happen here concerning his connection with her, but she was not ready to release it. Death in reverse is somebody that's not ready to allow something to come to an end. Now, the emperor in the reverse, king of pentacles in the reverse, it's almost like he had lost his position, his status, his, his authority. It could be that the nature of the relationship was that he... It was almost like he was at her mercy to a large degree because he couldn't stand in his power with the emperor in the reverse and the king of pentacles in the reverse. What was the nature of their relationship? I have the queen of cups. So a lot of love, but see, I'm cutting the deck at the devil here. Something that it was obsessed, like emotionally obsessed, obsessive energy. It's like saying, it's like saying, I love you, but on an obsessive level, on an unhealthy level, emotionally. I love you to the point where I will harm you is that type of energy that's coming through. Yeah, the, the five of swords here in the reverse. It's almost like he had to stand down from his position of authority in order to avoid this backlash of her obsessive, chaotic energy. Like, if he had to... Walk on eggshells is what I'm feeling. He had to really tame his masculinity in her presence and not be in his authority. Maybe this is why he cut her off because she could have very much so been a narcissist that was very emotionally manipulative. You know, I love you. I care about you. But controlling at the same time because the devil card deals with control. What was the nature of this relationship? Yeah, it was up and down. It was not stable. It was it was unstable. And I feel like this is also showing me there might be some mental instability when it comes to ED herself. Like something is not right here. And I feel like he was starting to see that. The nature of the relationship was very toxic. It was controlling. And he felt like he wasn't seated in his power around her. But see, wait a minute now. We got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So... These are two people that really do love each other a lot. That's a pair. We did see soulmate coming out. She got cut off. She was obsessed with him. But at the same time, the emotions were mutual, but he had to stand down to a large degree when it came to stepping in his authority. It's like he had to almost bow down to her because she was very controlling She wanted him to be her divine masculine. Y'all remember seeing this come out now. What did she want? We had divine masculine coming out. We had wishes. She was yearning, wishing, hoping, yearning. Okay. And divine masculine is here with proposal commitment on the table. There could have been a lot more to this relationship than what we know. Okay. What was the nature of 
Stephen's relationship, that was just the eight of cups that just came out. That's walking away from somebody. What was the nature of Stephen's relationship with ED? Because this could be what this was all about, y'all. The sun card is here. So it shows me they had a lot of good times together. The ace of wands is in the reverse, but something lost. The passion was gone. Something, yeah, the passion was gone because of some sort of bad news that came in. So things stopped. You know, the relationship came to a halt, a screeching halt. Why? Let's see. What is the reason why ED was cut off? Why was she cut off? Because obviously if you're obsessed and acting crazy, then yeah, that's a good reason. Why was ED cut off from her connection? Okay, settlement is here. Huh. And then threatened is at the bottom of the deck here. So she was making threats. It's almost like if you don't compromise, because that says agreement compromise, if you don't compromise with me, if you don't agree with me on something, then I make she was making some sort of threats and she was acting crazy as, as hell. Because this card came out in the last reading and I was looking at it like this person is crazy as shit. So ED wanted to compromise about something. As you can see, there's three glasses here. There's three people toasting here. So this could very well be that she wanted to make some agreement between him, his wife, and herself. And if he did not agree to it, which I feel like he did not, she was threatening, making some sort of threats. Let me see. Why was ED cut off? Why was there a cutoff between her relationship with Stephen? Why was she cut off? So what's coming out here is cleansing, cleanse, clearing space, removing negative energy, okay? He had to sage her ass up out of there. You know, anytime somebody is coming in with this type of in, uh, energy, you need some sage. You need to put some sage on that ass. And so I'm feeling like that's what happened. She got cut off because she was bringing negative energy. She was toxic, very toxic with the devil card coming out anyway. Obsessive, emotionally obsessive. And single is what comes out here. So why did he remove her? Because he wanted, I feel like she wanted him to become single. She wanted him to become single. She wanted him as her divine masculine. And I know y'all are like, you know, that don't even make no sense. But listen, this is what I'm picking up on energetically. And like I said, I'm going to pull the cards again and see what the, the nature of the relationship was with the wife. But I'm feeling like this obsession right here strongly dealt with Stephen. Okay? One more card for why she was cut off. Why was she cut off? Tick-tock. Deadline. Time is running out. Okay? So she was cut off because it's like she was... Some sort of time frame. Something was, there was a time frame on something. And if he did not do it, if he didn't do something, there was retaliation that would happen. He was being threatened. She was threatening to retaliate against him if he did not compromise or agree to something here. But this agreement, I feel like, dealt with her might maybe saying she wanted him to become single. She wanted him to divorce because there was an energy coming out in the first reading about divorce. But I kept picking up that the wife wanted to leave. Now, let me see. Let me let me collect these cards. We're going to move on to the next question because I want to dive a little bit deeper and see what this is really all about. We could see very clearly that she was angry. ED was angry because of being cut off. And she wanted Stephen to communicate with her. He did not want to communicate with her because he was he was feeling threatened. He was being given a time frame. Okay, you got until next week to, to become single or to, until next week to come up with an agreement. She wanted to be held in high honor because she felt like she deserved it. She expected it because of occupation, because of possibly giving him or opening up a door for him to work for her. So let me see. Let's look into the relationship with the wife. What was what was ED's relationship with the wife? What was that like? 
because I just, for some reason, I don't know, y'all. I feel like there's something going on now, but I'm looking at it, especially when I did the part one, I said, it looks to me like whoever the third party is, is an air sign. And I said, if you all know what sign uh, the wife is or anybody is, let me know if there's an air sign surrounding this. And everybody was like, oh, the he's an air sign, Stephen is. ED is an air sign and the wife is an air sign. So I'm feeling like everything is lining up. It's making sense. What was the connection? What type of interaction did E.D. have with Stephen's wife? What type of connection did E.D. have with Stephen's wife? Let's see. Mm, that came out fast. Look at this. Lockdown mental pris imprisonment confined and at the bottom of the deck i have pressure cooker ready to explode so she was in her head like strongly ready to blow up look right behind that i have pop up spontaneous unexpected arrival surprise visit so it looks to me it looks to me because this this lockdown energy is like the eight of swords in your head feeling trapped really overthinking a situation, ready to explode. The type of relationship that they had there was a lot of anger, anger between the two of them, okay? And somebody popped up here. Somebody popped up. Now, let's just see. We're going we're gonna to look into this. What was the nature of the relationship between E.D. and Stephen's wife? They didn't like each other is what I'm picking up here. That's what I'm picking up. They did not like each other. Um, ascension and today. Somebody was ascending ascension today. Let me see. Spiritual path, awakening, present, now, in the moment, ascension, today. I'm going to have to see what this means because I'm not sure. What is Ascension all about? Leveling up? Something about leveling up? What is Ascension? That's too many cards that came out. What is Ascension? Oof, that popped right in my eye. Look at that. Retaliation. Retaliation. Punish. Payback. Revenge. So I feel like this ascension, it feels like the energy was escalating. It was, it was escalating is what I'm picking up. The energy in terms of this pressure, this rage, ready to explode, mental imprisonment. It looks like there was a pop up here. Somebody wanted to do it like here and now, like right now. I want punishment. I want payback. I want retaliation and revenge right now. The relationship that they had was not a good one. And I could understand if, in fact, there was some sort of affair that might have been happening between Stephen and E.D. Now, again, I know it sounds crazy because y'all probably like, no, she is a hardcore lesbian. That woman is not interested in men. But you never know, okay? You never know. Um, and I just, I feel like... With that King of Cups and Queen of Cups, there was definitely some sort of bond that was there, but it was an obsessive one on the part of E.D. Because you saw the Queen of Cups was right next to the devil. It was an obsessive one. She was wishing and hoping for him to be her divine masculine and for a proposal or commitment to be laid out on a table. Let me clarify this pop up because somebody might have popped up here to retaliate. Like, I, I can't wait. I can't I can't hold this anymore. Like, the energy was rising. It was rising. Um, what is pop-up? So, pop-up is done. Completion. Lesson learned. Somebody wanted to pop up and say, hey, it, this is over with. It's over with. Um, retaliating and coming back and saying, that's it. It's done. It's done. Let me clarify. Pop-up. 
pop up to say it's done. Somebody popped up to say I'm done. It's, it's done. It's over with. Punishment. But it dealt with retaliation, though. So done can mean anything. Because obviously what ended up happening is this man ended up losing his life. So this pop-up could have came with the energy of, okay, no, today. I'm, I'm going to do this today. I'm not going to wait because the energy was ascending. It was getting... It was becoming more elevated. Like this, you know, this card says pressure, pressure cooker. So you know that the energy of a pressure cooker, it keeps rising and rising until it's ready to explode here. So the energy between the wife, Stephen's wife and ED was just rage, explosion, mental prison, confined, trapped in their head about the situation, um, wanting revenge, punishment, payback. And somebody decided to pop up to say, no, it's done. This says sold, moving, physical location change. <sighs> and I did see that in the first reading that someone was looking into moving or at least threatening to leave, to relocate. All right, let me pull from a different deck. I'm going to see what the nature of ED's relationship was with the wife. Because as you can see, the energy is very different. In comparison to her connection with Stephen, with Stephen, it felt like there was obsessive energy, must have indulgence, you know, um, wishing, uh, you know, wanting. It, it was just. I don't know. What was the relationship between E.D. and Stephen's wife? Y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. I always read the comments and I'm always interested in knowing how you all pick up on the energy. What was the nature of the relationship? So what came out here is bad health. Bad health. It was an unhealthy relationship. I feel like it was an unhealthy relationship. I feel like they did not like each other. Community is at, in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. They they was not meshing like that. I just I, and I'm not picking up anything that would insinuate an affair or like they were lovers. I'm just not picking it up at this time. But let me see. I'm gonna pull. What is bad health? Because it feels like it could have been causing bad health. You know, the relationship was not healthy, obviously, because there was rage here. There was mental entrapment here. People wanting retaliation, punishment, payback, revenge. What is bad health? Wanting to pop up on folks. Bad health. Bad health is clarified by false person. Okay? False person. And what came out here at the bottom of the deck is gift. False person and gift. Let me clarify this false person card. What is false person? So meeting two or more people discussing and planning. Okay. The nature of the relationship is that it was unhealthy, but it was, it was very false. And they might have met up and discussed something here. But somebody was wearing a mask. Two or more people discussing or planning, meeting. What is gift? Let me see what is gift. Gift is closed in, trapped, or frustrated. Lockbox. Something that was supposed to be kept hidden. Whatever was given or whatever this gift is, it was supposed to be kept away and hidden. What is a gift? Gift is pretending, fake, living beyond means. And this is actually in alignment with false person. Something was fake about this. So it just feels like pretending, even if they did, 
like it's almost like this energy of whenever they was around each other, it was very fake energy. It was very false because the nature of the relationship was really unhealthy. Largely because behind all of this, somebody felt mentally entrapped, stuck in their head, enraged. So whenever they did meet, she might have been the type of person that gave gifts, you know, hey, acting like she was cool with her. But in reality, the, you saw the single card. She wanted Steven single. ED wanted Steven single. Because I looked to see, well, what was the agreement supposed to be about? What was this uh, uh, agreement that she wanted him to make here for this, this meeting? And it showed that she wanted him single. So I feel like she was fake. It was a relationship that was very fake, pretending, maybe giving gifts, but it was not um, what it seemed on the surface. And I feel like both people knew this. They knew this, but for the sake of maintaining and showing face, they acted as if they had some sort of uh, relationship, like they were cool with each other. So let me see what... Um, I want to look into how did Steven get to the hotel? I want to see how he got there. Whatever energy might come up, you know, it's kind of hard to decipher these things. But what, how, how did he get there? <sighs> Something is definitely going on. But I strongly feel like Ed was involved in this because the same cards are coming back here as the first one. But I just wasn't specific about any names at that time. She's the drama queen that was in part one. And that drama queen came out as the person who wanted death. Because I clarified, well, what does the drama queen want? And the card death clarified that to answer the question. And also the drama queen also showed up as being the karmic third party, which we're seeing. Listen, y'all, something was going on. So how does Steven get to the room? I have two cards here. Look at this. Death is in the reverse with the emperor in the reverse. Did these cards not just come out together when I was asking about the nature of the relationship that he had with ED? Same position. So I'm strongly feeling like he might have. She probably popped up because remember, pop up came out just now. She might have popped up and was causing, raising all types of hell. And he said, you know what? I'm going to go and I'm going to talk to her. Let me, let me go talk to her because it was shown in the first message that he and the wife were into it. They was angry. Okay. And he was getting frustrated. And I asked, I, I asked, why did he leave the house? And what was shown was the drama queen is what pushed him out of the house to make him leave. But now we're seeing that the drama queen is directly connected to ED. So she must have popped up and started raising all hell because she in this energy of rage ready to explode because she was drastically cut off. And at this point, she can't hold it back anymore because she's obsessively watching and she's wanting him to talk to her because she feels like she should be held in high honor. So now we have the same cards coming out. Here we go. The lovers. How did he get to the room? The lovers. Okay. Okay. So whoever he was having an affair with. Now we're going to clarify again what the lovers is. Let's see what energy comes out for the lovers to clarify the lovers. Because if it has anything to do with ED's energy as far as those cards came, came out, then we know what it is. How did he get to the room? The lovers. It was somebody that he had some sort of connection with. Look at this, y'all. Same card. Interview. Talk conversation, get on the same page. So he left the lovers, whoever he was having the affair with, came in, said, I want to talk to you. We, we need to get on the same page here. I got some things that we need to talk about. Come on, let we, you know, you done cut me off. This is the card that came out for ED. Bottom of the deck says anxiety, scared, panic. He felt trapped. Okay. He felt trapped. He was afraid. He was having some anxiety concerning the situation here. Now, the emperor in the reverse with the death card in the reverse, he felt powerless in the situation, but somebody did not want this to end. Let me clarify. What is this interview all about? We're going to see if it's in alignment with what just came out as far as ED and what she wanted from him. What is this interview all about? Racing, running, avoiding, 
Bottom of the deck says crickets, silence, non-action. The interview was about why are you avoiding me? Why, why are you running from me? How come I haven't heard from you? You know, what's going on? You know, I thought we was, I thought we was like this. I thought we was the lovers. I thought we was close. I thought we had this connection. Why aren't you talking to me? You ghosted me. You went silent on me. You're not taking action. What's going on? Where have you been? Somebody was angry. This is in alignment with the energy that came out in regards to ED. Is it not? So he met up with her because she popped up at the house. She couldn't wait no more because it said today, right now, in this moment, she could not wait anymore because the rage was building and she wanted retaliation. She came in to say, it's done. It's completed. Something was supposed to be done. Maybe her done meant she wanted him to be done with the wife or she was trying to tell him it's done. It's over with for you because you are not holding me in high honor after all that I've done for you, right? expectation after all that I have done for you. <sighs> Let's pull one more card for what this interview was all about. So this is how he ended up at the hotel. He left. He ended up meeting up with somebody who did not want things to come to an end, which I strongly feel is ED. She showed up at the house, started, she wanted to talk to him. I got some questions for you. You've been running from me. You've been avoiding me. You went silent on me. You ghosted me. What's going on? Now, remember, the first few cards said extreme harsh cutoff. Somebody got cut off. Who was that somebody? It was ED. So this is, it's, it's, come, it's clear now, okay? What is the interview all about? One more card. So the interview is about family, blood ties, family circle. She wanted to talk to him about his family situation. What are you going to do? Because right here I said I have ghosted, blocked, cut off. What are you going to do? Did you, or you, you ghosted me for your family? You, you cut me off for your family. I thought we were supposed to be family. What are you saying? Blood is more important. What, what is this? What is this? What do we have here? Yeah, that's what she wanted to tell him. That's what the interview was all about. So let me see, how did this go? We're going to look and see how did this conversation go here between Stephen and I feel that this is easy. What was the energy of the conversation like? How did this inter this interview go while he he had left his home? He had left his home. What happened here? Because I feel like this threat and the retaliation went far deeper than what we realized. He might she might have been threatening. Ed might have been threatening because she was angry, y'all. Drama queen energy. She might have been threatening to harm the wife or the children. And he probably said, you know what? Let me go and talk to her because it's getting ridiculous. But he, he had anxiety, panic. Just looking at the phone, she might have been sending some things to him through text message or what, what or anything like that, um, something like that. I also feel because she was in the retaliation mode prior to him leaving. In part one, it was shown that the wife had discovered some things about an affair online. She was looking into some things. So she probably was being petty and sending probably photos, probably text messages and whatever evidence she had. ED might have been sending whatever evidence she had to the wife. And that is probably why the wife was saying, well, no, I want to leave. I'm done. ED is pissed off and like, no, you know what? I'm done with this. I, I want to talk to you now. Because see, remember, anxiety, panic came out. Okay? Anxiety and panic came out where someone is looking at the phone in panic, feeling trapped, not knowing what to do. So what was the nature of this conversation? How did this conversation turn out between Stephen and the person that he met up with before he got to this hotel? Look at this, lockbox, okay, closed in, trapped, frustrated. It was a lot of frustration. Somebody went, it was like this energy of the conversation was going like, look, because that SOS is standing out right there, that lockbox. We got to keep this under wraps. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want everybody knowing about this, um, but frustration was definitely present. Let's see. The card that came out is trash, discarding, throwing away. So somebody said the symphony has played itself out. It's over with. We can't do this anymore. 
You know, this is something that we, I can't let this get out to the world. Um, I, I just want to close this cycle out. Uh, so, so somebody felt like they was being thrown out and discarded here. What was the energy of the conversation? Look at that history, the past. That's the past. I, I don't want to li relive the past anymore. I want to leave that in the past, leave it behind us. It already happened. The past has happened. Somebody said it's over. What did Stephen say to the person he was with prior, when he left his wife's house the night before his death? What did he say to the person that he was with? It's so obvious. What did he say? Look, he said, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Let's let's just, you know, let's try to get on the same page. You know, um, let, let's talk about this, but I, I just, I don't want this out. I just, I want to allow, I want to leave this in the past. I'm done. Trash. Symphony has been played out, discarded, throwing out. I'm done. What did he say? Look at this. Love affair. Dirty little secret down low. So there, they was talking about the love affair. He said, this is a secret. You know, this is something that I don't want to get out. Let's look into this love affair. This is what he was talking about to the person that he was with. We know it was a lover because the lovers came out when I said, well, who, how did he get to the hotel? The lovers came out with the death card in the reverse and the emperor in the reverse. He, I feel like he was telling that person, death card in reverse, emperor in reverse. No, I'm not going to end my marriage. Death card in the reverse. I'm not going to end my marriage. Emperor in a reverse could be somebody who's married, who is now removing themselves from a connection. Lovers. So love affair. Let's clarify love affair. What was he saying about this love affair? What was Stephen saying about this love affair to this person that he met up with or that came to his home prior to the date, prior to his death? Look. Entrapment, pregnancy. Now, this came out in the first reading. Something about a pregnancy here. Something about a pregnancy here. <sighs> Question is, who became pregnant? Because if ED is involved in this, I don't even think that woman is in childbearing age. Question is, maybe, maybe his wife became pregnant. Maybe his wife became pregnant. This pregnancy card is here and it came out in the first reading. And so I felt was what was being shown was that the third party who he was having an affair with had been pregnant, either pregnant or had a child. And they was trying to keep it under wraps because this lockbox card kept coming out. Don't bring this to the forefront. But now I'm wondering who could have been pregnant here. Let me see. Let me look into entrapment, pregnancy. What is this all about? This could have been the wife's energy, ascension, spiritual awakening. What is entrapment, pregnancy? What is this pregnancy? Okay, legal. See, I told y'all it was like this energy that says court paperwork filed, legal. So it's like somebody, the conversation was about the love affair. The conversation was dealing with wanting to keep this in the past wanting to discard the situation and lock it away. I don't want to talk about it, but then there was something in regards to a pregnancy. And something about legal paperwork being filed surrounding this. I'm going to pull one more for the legal paperwork. Threatened. There was this energy of being threatened about this legal paperwork. Embarrassed appearances. Somebody was concerned about being embarrassed, but remember... This came out for ED. So threatening something legally. I'm just, it's, it's, man, this is, this is, it's starting to become a little bit confusing when it comes to this pregnancy thing because I'm not saying it's impossible for somebody of her age to get pregnant, but I'm just really trying to figure this one out here. Unless the wife became pregnant and she was disappointed about that and didn't want him to have another baby. Let me see. Um, so trying to see what else I can look into. So let me just see what were ED's intentions towards Stephen. I'm going to look into my other cards just to get a little bit more detailed about her intentions towards him. 
um, the night before and the day of his murder. Or so I'm automatically saying murder because that's what it feels like. When he transitioned, what was ED's intentions towards him? Look, slander and crooked judge. Slander and crooked judge. Now something, and see, that's the thing, because this is in alignment with legal, legal and threatened. Like this is this energy, the conversation that he was having with the person that he ended up with before getting to the hotel was this. Something about a legal document, court paperwork filed, but he was, that he was being threatened when it came to this. And the, here it is, same energy. What was ED's intentions towards him? And I have slander and crooked judge. So apparently she was able to pay somebody off. She was going to slander his name. What is this slander all about? Let me see, what is the slander? Because that did come out in, in the first reading that there was some sort of gossip or slander. Unless she knew about an additional affair that he had, maybe that's what it was. She had an obsession with him. He cut her off. She had other information on him, potentially surrounding another love affair where he might have gotten someone pregnant and was threatening to slander his name and paying off a crooked judge to help her to do this. What is slander? Slander is verge. Look at this, y'all. Verge about to confess. She was getting ready to tell something here. She was about to spill all the tea on him and she was going to pay a, a crooked judge to help her to do it. So this would have definitely ruined his reputation. What is the slander? Slander, huh, it deals with his marriage. She wanted the marriage over because this car flew out in the reverse. She wanted to spill the tea. She was about to confess something here. But it feels like it could have been a half truth because the slander would indicate that there's some lies that's being told. But with this revealed about to confess, what was she about to confess? Settlement, agreement, compromise. Man, I just heard that he might have literally gotten someone pregnant. Ellen, I mean, ED knew about it, but she was obsessed with him anyway. Seems like she just wanted him at her mercy and all to herself. So in order to make him do what she wanted him to do, she was threatening to say, because he might have literally gotten someone pregnant and did something up underneath the table to keep it hush-hush. Like, look, if we're going to do this, you know, we can foul. Uh, if you if you get child support, I'm going to pay you up underneath the table or let's lock this away to where no one knows about it. You know, trash this, discard it. We don't want nobody knowing about this. She might have been very much so aware of it because as, at one point he had to have trusted her for them to be in a queen of cups and king of cups energy. Which is two people that really love and care for one another. But like I said, she became obsessive and was cut off at some point because she was acting crazy. Now... The conversation that they had prior to him getting to the room dealt with the love affair, some sort of entrapment, potential pregnancy, and legal documents. There was a threat concerning legal documents. And it's saying that the slander would deal with confessing something about a compromise or an agreement that was made between potentially three people. Maybe she was involved in this. Maybe she helped him out to do this behind the scenes, maybe behind his wife back. She might have, he, he might have confessed to her like, hey, I did get up with somebody. She ended up pregnant. She might have helped him. She might have helped him. That's why she felt like she should be held in high honor because it's like, look at what I've done for you. Let me see. We're going to pull a little bit more. One more card for this slander. So the slander is plugged in, tuned in, internet conne uh, connected. So something that was online, something was online here. Um, 
drastic, harsh cutoff, surviving daily hustle. It just feels like she was going to slander something about, uh, you know, something that she she had online here, something, some sort of evidence that she had here um, because she had been cut off. And it's almost like she was trying to create issues with his finances, like with what I plan on doing, the way that I'm going to threaten you is going to is going to affect your finances, because obviously a person of her status in Hollywood would know a lot of people and the type of money that she has. I think when I looked her up, it said that she has like 500 million or something like that. With the type of money that she's accumulated, she has enough to be able to pay off some crooked people because a lot of crooked people in this judicial system. But she also has enough money to pay people to slander, to pay people to, you know, uh, uh, you know, say things to, you know, so-called confess things, reveal things. And it would have ended up affecting his money. All of this because she was cut off. Look at this access granted social media fake profile. She was like she was doing the most and she might have even paid someone to gain access to his social media, his passwords, things of that nature. But there was a fake profile hiding behind the scenes like she was she was going to do some things and she was going to put it online. She was going to put it online. And it was going to work against him. And she also planned on taking something legally in threatening some legal uh, retaliation potentially in regards to a pregnancy and a love affair. So this, this, it, it was really messy. Okay. That much is clear. Now, let me just pull a few more cards for her agenda. ED's agenda against, let me just see, because one thing that I noticed too, y'all is that Stephen began talking about the deaths, like random murders and deaths that had been unsolved, okay? Uh, Breonna Taylor, I believe her name is, that was one person that he had, he had people filing a, a petition to have them reopen the case and to do further investigation to see what happened. And he was starting to speak out about a lot of the, you know, random deaths that went unsolved or unfairly, you know, the cases were closed out concerning those in the melanated community, Okay. I believe that he began doing that because he knew he, he was getting threatened for a while after cutting her off. He knew how crazy she was. He cut her off because she knew how obsessed she was. And I feel like he began to speak about these things openly because he knew that if something happened to him, he did not want to end up in the same position to be uh, an, a, a death that happened where they just close the books on it and say, this is what took place and no one takes further action to investigate the situation. So he, I feel like he was calling attention to what was happening to others because there was something within him that told him he might've been next on the list because of the type of person he was dealing with and her status and the type of people that she could pay off to get things done. Let me just see. I'm going to clarify. I'm going to pull from this card, this deck again, why he cut her off. Why did Stephen cut ED off? But this clears up some more things here. For those of you who might have been wondering, I strongly sense that she had a lot to do with this. Um, and the threats were being made here. And she didn't get what she wanted in that conversation. She was not happy with what came out in that conversation. So... Why did he cut off ED? Said drastic, harsh cut off. Why did he cut her off? Contracts. Something about contracts, okay? Bottom of the deck, it says set you up. So there was a setup here concerning some contracts, okay? Contractual agreements. Now we're going to clarify and see what these contracts is about, but he knew that she was going to try to set him up. What is these contracts here concerning why he cut her off? What are these contracts? Oh, that's a lot of cards, y'all. Hold on, I'm going to put these back. What are these contracts? Contracts. 
because a contract is a legal document, okay? So we do have a lot about expect large payout. So something about a contract dealing with a large payout, he cut her off because of this contract, but he knew that it was a setup. He would get paid a lot for it, paid under the table, some sort of contract. What is the setup? Set you up. Why did he cut her off? Set you up. Because he knew she had been threatening him. When he cut her off, that's when she started threatening him. Set you up and mother came out. Mother came out. So it could very well be that the contract might have dealt with, she might have wanted him to sacrifice his mother. Because set you up, his mother is clarified by set you up. He cut her, this is all about why he cut her off. The contract deals with a large payout. Okay, you get a lot of money for signing this agreement. But he cut her off because he didn't agree to this contract. He did not agree to this contract. Let me see, what is set, what is mother concerning set you up? What is mother? Hidden money, something about some hidden money. There might have been more money paid. He, he might have gotten paid outside of the contractual agreement. It's like, okay, if you do this, if you agree to this contract, then you're going to get a large payout, but you're also going to be paid under the table with this money that you is not going to be taxed. This is straight out of the pocket. I'm giving you this straight cash. But there was a setup here concerning a mother. So what is going on with the mother? They know you know. They know you know. So the mother might have known something here. Seems like the mother was aware of something here. Okay. They know you know. So it could have been a setup to say, okay, you have to agree to this contract to do something here. You'll get paid for it, but the mother has to go. Some sort of trust. There was a false male friend involved in this. And then I have millions of dollars behind this. So lots of money involved in this. False male friend is here as well. Let me clarify this false male friend because there is a person. I don't know his name right now. Put his name in the description box if you all know. It said that he was the first person to come forward and say that, you know, trying to elude to... Uh, Stephen taking his life because he made some really bad uh, investments and he lost everything as a result of bad investments. And he was saying, well, if you made bad investments, you know, people will take their life because you've everything that you worked hard for. Now you're losing it. Y'all leave his name because I don't know who the man is, but I did see a partial clip of it. Um, go get your blanket. Let me see something. What's coming out for this false male friend? This false male friend was involved in trying to set him up as well. Um, but see, protection is here. Something about protection with Archangel Michael coming out. This false male friend prevented, oh, prevented from harm. This false male friend, he was promised to be protected as long as he cooperated. I feel like this protection is not like divine protection. I'm looking at the words that's on the cards. He might have been promised protection. Um, as long as he agreed to whatever this contract was to set up potentially the mother. Let me see, false male friend. And when I looked into, because it was like a uh, false family, karmic family, you know, anybody can be your family. It doesn't have to be your blood. He might have seen this false male friend as being like a brother to him. Because I even saw some clips on, on the ED show where he was saying, y'all are like a family to me. Saying this to her, like, y'all are like a family to me. False male friend. Obsession. Must have indulgence. False male friend. Poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people. It feels like this false male friend might have also had some poisonous, toxic, unhealthy behavior patterns. He might have been ghosted and, and cut off as well. 
blocked off and cut off as well. I feel like there was a multitude of things going on. And y'all know when people get involved in this highly weird, it's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. They have a lot of lustful energy, strong Jezebel spirit because they have this insatiable appetite and they do things, you know, that they probably generally wouldn't do if they didn't have the money or the status or maybe they would, but it's it's probably worsened. It's probably heightened that 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 lustful energy. So there could be more that was going on concerning this false male friend. But look, it says false male friend. So this false male friend would be likely to betray. And I feel like the slander was also surrounding something that was unhealthy about Stephen's interaction with this false male friend. So I did hear a few things where it was alluding that he might have been on the down low. So I feel like <sighs> there was a multitude of people that he might have been seeing, okay? He might have played both sides. This false male friend could have gotten cut off here. Feels like he started cutting off a lot of people surrounding some sort of contract saying, oh no, I'm not going to agree to this contract. And because he disagreed, and because he cut everybody off, he was being threatened with slander and, you know, all types of things with the legal system, like threatening to, to mess up his money and something surrounding a mother figure as well. What I have here is negotiator, bargaining, begging. I feel like he was trying to negotiate. He was trying to bargain. He might have even been to a space of begging because we saw anxiety coming out. So that's a large, you know, indicator of fear. He had gotten himself involved in something. And I feel like he wanted out before things got too bad. It could be that being that the show was canceled, maybe the contract that he signed initially was like, you know, he might not have read in between the lines. He might not have realized that there was a potential that maybe some sort of sacrifice had to be done in order for him to gain the type of fame and wealth that he gained as a result of it. And once that, situ once that show was uh, off, and whatever it is he was doing to maintain that position with ED, who obviously became obsessed with him and wanted him at her mercy to do whatever it is that she desired him to do. Then you got this false male friend who is also behind the scenes in this energy of obsession, toxic, unhealthy. He was ghosted too. It just felt like Stephen pulled back. He withdrew from several people. Um, and that's when the threat started coming in. And so I have coffin here, distant horizons. I feel like the threat had to do with, okay, he knew that moving ahead, he anticipated that in the distant horizons, uh, there would be some sort of, yeah, some sort of death and then sudden wealth behind that. I feel like this is dealing with the contract though. Let me just pull a card for the contract and then I'm going to close out y'all. But I just, I really wanted to come back on just to see if we could dive deeper, get, you know, and I feel like this is making it more clear that he really got himself tied up in some mess with the wrong type of people that became very obsessed with him. There was a lot of lustful energy, addictive behavior patterns, and things that it feels like he wanted to remove himself from. And when he started saying no, people started getting angry. And that's when they decided to take this man's life. I have main mail coming out. I have change, so something about relocation. I have judication, okay? Something about going in front of a judge. Somebody was looking to relocate. I have gift here. Let me clarify gift because that came out earlier. Courtship. So someone was offering a courtship. Thoughts. Someone was really thinking hard about someone here. message of concern somebody received some sort of message this came out in the last reading message of concern what is this message of concern in regards to i feel like it's in regards to this relocation because this card fell out underneath the change card which is relocation what is this message of concern look at that message of concern is clarified by the journey somebody was concerned that uh, so, someone received a message that someone was getting ready to leave, relocate. <sighs> the 
marriage is what came out next. So this could be that, you know, the wife could have received this message that he might have been leaving and that he might have been wanting a divorce. because of some sort of courtship or she could have sent a message. Imprisonment is right behind this. Somebody felt trapped. Thief card, toil and labor. It's so much. I mean, I feel like the rabbit hole just goes deeper and deeper, but I feel like the main, the main energy that needed to come out has come forward. And we see that ED was strongly involved in this. There was a lot of toxic energy when we started pulling on her energy here. And so it's very clear that there was a setup largely dealing with a contract that had not been fulfilled. But also she felt like, hey, you you owe me. You owe me. Um, and there was a strong obsession surrounding this. There was affairs, obviously, that was going on. And there was slander. There was threats of slander, threats to put things online. You know, I feel like things were sent to the wife to show her maybe photos and things of that nature that she might have accumulated over time to blackmail him. The ED accumulated over time to blackmail him. Um, and, you know, I do. Let me just see. Why did why did the wife say? Why hasn't the wife's what is the wife hiding? Let me just see real quick, y'all. Dang, it's already an hour and 11 minutes. What is the wife hiding here? What is she hiding? Because obviously ED is crazy as hell. It could be that she's scared at this point, or it could be that she was in on it. You know, what is the wife hiding? So what came out is financial support. She's hiding something in regards to money here, okay? Child, alimony, government financial support. She's hiding something concerning something legal, something about some financial support. What is she hiding? I got a lot of cards that came out. I have bounty hunter, chaser, pursuit. It's almost like she knew that he was being chased down, ghosted, blocked off, cut. She knew that somebody was ghosted and cut off. Then we have magnetic attraction, 